I come from. Um, I, I'm actually I'm on the course as uh, an MBA student, an executive MBA, and I'm running uh, my own company, which is very heavily involved in the housing industry. Um, we're trying to do things differently, and it's a, a subject which is very close to my heart, as you'll see in a minute. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's sort of I, I I came to this after you know many years roundabout doing lots of uh, circuitous route, but ended up in this in this business and running it. And um, it's something that, that that I hopefully will speak to you guys as well. All right. Okay, I've also thought I'd, I'd give myself a little timer here if that's all right. Yes. <laughs> Just, Double you know, time. to yeah. kind of keep myself vaguely on track. And after that, 10 minutes for questions. Okay, no problem. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Uh, to do with a recent experience of mine, um, as I as I mentioned, I'm in the housing industry. But uh, effectively, this is a story about an industry which is, in my mind, rather dysfunctional. It's out of date. It's outmoded. I thought it was rather apt as I was waiting outside to see that this lecture theatre is actually the British Land Lecture Theatre, which uh, perhaps is appropriate. But this is a story for me, which is integral to this idea of regeneration, and that's why we're here today, and uh, the subject of all the talks that you've been sitting through, and I'm afraid to say I'm the 13th of us, or quite a few. Um, my, my experience and my story starts with a relatively simple one. It starts with a search for my, a house for myself and my uh, young children, You'd have thought pretty straightforward, but unfortunately, when I looked around, this is the kind of typical thing I presented with. Uh, this is this is what our developers produce for us when we're looking at new build housing, and that didn't do it for me. Um, I wanted something which suited me and my family a bit better, so. Um, Along came, I was happened to be cycling around in an area which I like, and, and, and we saw this plot. I think you'll agree, a rather unloved plot there. It was used as a sort of dog toilet for the guys next door. And I went ahead and bought it. And then commenced a battle with planners and neighbours for people who wanted to keep this as is. Two years I battled and finally won the right to build a house. And once I'd won the right to build a house, it was time to get some finance. And of course, the bank said no. Uh, so it was back to family and scraping bottoms of every barrel. And finally, with finance in hand, I went to the local builders. And the local builder says, you know, what you want to build, we can't do. And I then had to carry on my journey, and I had to go to Germany, in fact, Germany and Austria. And that's where they build a house in a factory. And you think, why is it so hard? This is what's there now. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard for planners to say, we want something 
that looks like a dog toilet. Why do we want something? Why do we not want something which is 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 there for a family, which is uh, regenerating the area? And it, it led me to think about this talk and to think we've got a chance here. We've got a chance to regenerate our country. It's a, it's a, this is a problem which is very specific to the UK. Uh, there's a lot of talk of the Thames Gateway. We massively undersupply the country with housing. <coughs> and we only have one shot. There is an opportunity cost to that. Once a building is built there, that's it for the next 60, 80, 100 years. And that opportunity cost is not just about a home and a shelter. This is about a wider, a wider perspective. This is about a place where people work, they eat, they live, they dream, and they aspire. And by building homes which are inappropriate, which aren't well designed, we're cutting down on that. So here we are. Here's the. Uh, the, the point I wanted to make here is that house building is really broken, developer is broken. Only 5% of new build homes get a new, very good design rating. 80%, that's 80%, get a poor or very poor rating. And we're getting it wrong, and we want to go back to basics, but we don't want to go back to basics in a Prince Charles Poundbury, Poundbury style, which is looking at Victorian and Georgian floor plans, those were designed for the Victorians and Georgians. None of us drive a Victorian car or, or, or have Victorian clothes on. We don't eat in a Victorian manner. We don't have servants or maids in the attic. Why are we, do we not move on? You want to get yeah, um, So, that's one minute, is it? Okay. <laughs> so, we eat, we think, we live differently, yet the technology in housing hasn't moved on. So really, I just want to finish off by saying, let's have a fresh perspective. This is, we, this is where I live. This is where I have my family. We eat, we live together. We connect. Our, um, I, I work up there. I live down there. We eat down there. And if I can do it, so can others. And so should others. Because, as I say, we've got one chance. We've got one shot. We need to encourage it. We need to make it easier. We need to make it cheaper and we need to democratize this regeneration of our city. Thank you very much.